This is Couching Exceptions, and today I'm going to introduce you to a developer who loves learning and enabling education, Stefano Tempesta. So, uh, thank you for sitting with me. Thank you, Mike. I know that you, you did a presentation today, and I want to ask you about that. I'll, I'm going to do that later. First, I, I want to know uh, where you're from. Where'd you grow up? So, I'm originally from Italy. I grew up in the very south of Italy. Where, where in southern Italy? So, it's a town called uh, Brindisi. It's a very touristic spot. Uh, where a lot of people take it as an arbor to go to Greece. Uh, so, it's quite a nice layout city. What was it that actually got you started in programming or technology? Since I was a kid really my father bought me my first computer when everybody was playing video games I started programming then I went to uni studied there and it just made a career out of a passion really. So you went um, to university you and studied what was uh, what was your courses like at that point what, what were you taking it was actually just a few years uh, before the, the the internet bubble the dot-com bubble and it, it, Italy was really a growing market and then uh, I had a, a chance to, to start uh, my own company in Brindisi after a couple of years we sold I moved a bit in the north near Venice and worked for a very international group called Allos, and uh, I started exploring a bit of the world. So you like to travel? It's uh, kind of a passion of mine. Uh, it's, uh, you know, when opportunity to combine business with leisure, whenever I have a chance, absolutely. What country did you like the best? Mm, it really depends on the period, to be honest. But lately, I've been traveling very frequently to India, and uh, my current company, Education First, uh, has an office in Bangalore, I've been there already five times in six months or something, and it's a great experience. I love the food, I love the people. So you have spent a lot of time working in education. Probably education is the second passion of mine after traveling, right? So yes, I built a career in education. A combination of a B2B or other situations like uh, my short spell at Uniservit in the UK, where we were building a collaboration management system for us kids in primary and secondary school. And now you work at EF? No, I work in EF, uh, such a large organization. Uh, I work for international languages, combining the, pas the, the possibility to explore a new place with uh, obviously the opportunity to learn a new language. So we're at Shokan in Amsterdam and you gave a presentation on Redis and using machine learning to auto-tune. Uh, yeah, so all uh, our portal, EF.com, is on cycle, has been on cycle for years and years. And uh, as we you know, add more capacity, uh, add more capabilities to the website, uh, it's growing, uh, reflects also in uh, challenges in terms of performance. The first step of introducing a level of caching of pages, this cache is growing and growing and growing and uh, the bill is growing, growing and growing. <laughs> and we are an educational company, so we want to keep it uh, a bit more agile in terms of the bill, uh, but it's also the performance itself, hence machine learning. So machine learning, especially as a service, as offered by Microsoft in Azure, has uh, the possibility to create a demand estimation of some specific object or pages in, uh, from our portal, and uh, we pre-allocate only the pages that have a highest likelihood to be accessed into the cache. I've been trying to get as much into machine learning as I can, so I appreciate the you know, the insight. It was really kind of like a... I mean, I've heard uh, several people talking about your presentation. Glad to hear. I, I love the use of it. I think that's resource management, tight resource management is a perfect application. So that was really all I had uh, for questions. But at the end here is your opportunity to speak to the community and give your message if you have one. All right, okay, well, thanks. Um, so, no message specifically and no big announcement. It's really, uh, I, I'm a strong supporter of uh, Psycho and the entire Microsoft technology stack. I'm a Microsoft MVP and uh, I love really 
events like this uh, where there is a strong community, there is a strong sense of sharing, uh, um, everything that we do is uh, a benefit for our business, but it may be of benefit for other businesses. So I really encourage everybody in the community to stand up, take an opportunity to use uh, these events uh, for networking, uh, for uh, just knowledge sharing. It's such an uh, enriching experience. I always take a chance uh, whenever I can to travel and uh, participate, uh, attend the conferences uh, and speak uh, about my experience. I appreciate you doing. Thank you for coming up. Thank you. So I was catching exceptions and you just met Stefano Tempesta, VP of Engineering at Education First. Next time you see me, we're going to be getting to know somebody else. Till then, hang loose.